Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we're our time of the month. Boop, boop. Separately, we're Caitlin and Danielle. That's right. <laughs> so it is a very casual, actually it's finally nice weather here in Baltimore. It's yes. honestly, you know that it's been too hot when 93 is, is mild. Yeah. Well, the humidity is really down today for some reason. Like, yeah. bless up. Thank you, Jesus. So we're going to be doing a little bit of vlogging today, mm -hmm. but we're also going to the pool. So we want to do a very lightweight face for errands and then, yeah. And then, you know, we want to get in the, the pool and swim. So for me, I'm like focusing on SPF, very light coverage, evening out. My face is a lot lighter than the rest of my ball day. Oh, I forgot my SPF powder bullshit. Oh no, that's important part. Yeah, that was important. So you might know this routine is like a no makeup makeup routine. I feel like that's a popular trend on the internet. Yes. We, I mean, I feel like I wear no makeup makeup every day to work. I wear full makeup makeup every day to work. But we're gonna be outside, we're gonna be sweating, we're gonna be running around grocery shopping at Costco. We're gonna take you with us. Yeah. And like Costco people don't care about what my face looks. No, no. give me my sample and keep it moving. <laughs> We're drinking a morning beer. What time is it? 9.39. Perfect. This is Dewclaw Brewing Company Sour Me Peach Sherbet Sour Ale. Mm, it's, I'm very excited. It's a pounder can. I kind of like that. It makes me feel like... I like that. I do like beastie. that. Uh, and I was reading the description and it's kind of funny. Sip a ripe, juicy, sour me peach sherbet for a big, tart, sweet peach notes. Oh, for big, tart, sweet peach notes. And a creamy, full body from additions of lactose and fresh peaches Slurp. 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 With like four R's. So, I like it. Uh, I've already had one of these the other Today. day. No. <laughs> this morning. This morning for breakfast. And it's very sour. It's very peachy. It's very delicious. It's Oh, it's very sour. Very sour. Mike oh. said he thought it was like one of the most sour beers he's ever had. Interesting. I mean, I Because it's like fruit sour. I can already smell the peach. Here's what she looks like. Look. If you're in the Baltimore, Maryland area, that is a local brewery for us. I find mine at the wine source. I literally, I gotta get a napkin. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like that. Isn't that good? Cause I love a, I love a sour. I could chug this beer. And I feel like very few beers I meet that I'm like, yeah, I could chug that. I could just drink it like juice. Oh, yeah. It's a little, it's, I mean, it is juicy. Yeah. Juicy and it's 5.5% like alcohol. Is that good? I don't know. I mean, it's better than, I see a lot of beers that are like four point some. Mm. So yeah, I think anything over five is good. Anything over six is better. Mm. Mike and I both order beers based on the alcohol. ABV. The, the ABV. Yeah. <laughs> so have you done anything to your skin yet? No, I have nothing on my face this morning. I do. I have cleansed my skin like normal. I applied our Lancome Genifique Serum, which mm. I freaking love. And then I did spray my face. I'm gonna need one. I'm gonna get mine. <laughs> um, I sprayed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm right at the bottom of this bottle, but I've had it for quite a while. I don't know that it really does anything to make my makeup last better, but sure. Okay. You know, like I would probably repurchase it because I, oh, sorry. I feel like it's, Fun to spray, it smells nice. Maybe my makeup does last better. I haven't really done any research. Okay, so I am gonna use, for the same reason, I'm gonna use the MAC Fix Plus. It's the coconut. I love the sound of the sprayer, like the pumper. I will oh, say it's, it's a- very wet. Yeah. You wet, girl. It's not a mist. How's your skin doing right now? It's okay. I mean, I'm definitely recovering from some previous breakouts, uh, but I don't really have any new ones, which I appreciate. Same, I have this little red spot here and this little red spot here. Otherwise, my skin looks and feels really great. So for a little bit of moisture, I am actually gonna mix this Clinique Turnaround Daytime Moisturizer with this product that was sent complimentary from Clarins, which is the Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. So as you know, I've been using, we love tanning products. If you watched our recent summer essential videos, we've been using a bunch. And so when we saw this, we knew we had to try it. So you're just supposed to add two to three drops to your mo to moisturizer and it will like slowly gradually tan your face. Mm -hmm. Normally I would do this at nighttime, Yeah. but I have it now and I'm just too excited to use it. So I want first and fresh. Oh, that's not at all how I thought it was gonna so be. So we're gonna, oh, right, it, this reminds me of those little baby bottles. 
Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a pump, but it's really good, um, nice packaging. I like that it is small, so if you were traveling, you could easily throw it into your bag. TSA friendly. TSA friendly. So I'm just gonna do a little... Uh, Cocktail? And then I'm just gonna mix them together on my hand. I have to remember to wash that hand. Oh, it's like a water-like consistency. Instantly dry, I will say that. Wow. So I'm just gonna do that all over my face. And more subtle of a smell than I had anticipated, to I would be say honest. Once you mix it with lotion, I don't really think it's gonna be a problem. Yeah. Go down my neck. Yeah, don't forget your neck. And like all the way out to my ears. I also can like pat mm -hmm. around there. Okay, and I will say, I'm gonna go immediately wash my hands. So, we are primed, honey. Yeah. We'll see. So, um, I, follow along. I will post a review of this product later. I'll show you maybe, uh, well, I can't really do it before and after because I didn't take it before, but I'll show you my face. Yeah. I'll let you know my thoughts. We're right. out there on the internet. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Clarence. Okay, my first step in this no makeup makeup routine mm -hmm. is to even out my base, uh, to make my face match my neck and my chest a little bit better, and to get a layer of SPF down. And I had sworn off this product because I thought that they changed the formula. Yeah. And then I tried it again and I was like, oh, it's back to being good. Like a new bottle or you just started, you just picked up your old one that you thought was fucked and you started using it? A new bottle. Oh, okay. Uh, so I just picked up my new shade, which I hope it's my new shade. Last night, it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. It does have broad spectrum SPF 30, and I'm using the shade Wheat 4.5. Oh, wow. That one's my dark one. Yeah. Well, wheat. I feel like I yeah. tan very easily, so. I am not putting a base on at all. It is no makeup makeup, and my goal in life is to feel confident and happy going out into the world without yeah. any sort of like foundation or like full face coverage. So what I am gonna do, actually I was considering doing like a little bit, I think I am actually gonna put a little bit of glowy primer on though. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just to give me a little like boost. So I'm just gonna do two pumps, not even two pumps, a pump and a half of the Physician's Formula Spotlight. I've shown this a bajillion times. So I'm just gonna dot this over and then like, so we're rubbed in, yeah, like moisturizer. And for me, unfortunately, I left the SPF product that I was gonna use at home, so I'm gonna end up just doing like my spray sunscreen over top of my makeup, which I'll do later, but trust and believe there will be SPF. So I, I don't feel like if you looked at me, you'd be like, oh, she's wearing makeup. I just think it evened me out a little bit. It's giving me the SPF 30 that I want all over. I drag it down my neck, and I just throw it on with my hands. It's Honestly, no fuss, no frills. I feel good. I, I go out without makeup, but sometimes I do like to put this on. Especially since I know I'm gonna be in the pool. And I think I also have a little bit of a leg up on the like feeling good about my skin because yes. I have self-tanner on my face. Exactly, and I do not. Right, I have been self-tanning my face for weeks at this point. <laughs> she has. So my, I, I feel better about my skin because it is tanner. So next, I am going to do the Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer in the shade G10. I will say, I think it's probably, now that I have tanned my face, uh, it's a little light, but mm -hmm. it's okay, because it's Costco. Oops, sorry, you can hear my husband blow his nose That's how in the shower. So I am gonna also use a little bit of concealer, and I think this will not be my shade either, but this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light to Vanilla. I carry my hormonal redness in my chin, a lot of women do, and I'm just gonna try to like m mute that a little bit. Okay, so that's like a comparison. That's with concealer on, that's without. I can't see it, maybe it looks better, maybe it doesn't. Oh, it does, it looks like very nicely blurred. Oh yeah, way to go, thanks. And that's what's great about the cream concealer is that you just stick your freaking finger in it. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna take a tiny bit and I'm gonna go under my eyes as well. I have a lot of, you know, blue and purple undertones there. So I have like a spot here, a spot here, and a spot here. So I'm just gonna go with the same exact concealer and just try and hide the redness a tiny bit. I get a lot, ever since I switched, um, 
from a, the birth control pill to an IUD. I have had hormonal acne all around my chin and jawline. It's much better now than it was when I first switched, but it still is sort of a constant problem. And I find that if you really try super hard to cover a pimple, it ends up just looking a mess. It ends up being like a cakey. It's like, here's my pimple. Right, look at all this makeup I put on it. So that's that. I'm gonna set my under eyes, like Caitlin was just saying, a little bit with this uh, Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder. And this is in the shade Light. How long have you had that? A long time. I feel like I never see you use it. I've been using it every day lately. I want that brush. Where's that brush from? Elf. Oh, I really like it. It's a good, I have two of them. I might give you one. It looks like Alana's that she always loved, talks about loving. Oh, and I'm using an elf stippling brush. Sorry, I did not specify. Sharing is caring. Do, do, do. Yeah, so literally just gonna go right under here. And that's just, like, I feel like Glossier is meant to be like cream, like sort of loose product, but I just find my under eyes budge too much for me to just leave it. Yeah. Like they designed it so you don't set it. Yeah. But my under eyes shift and wrinkle and you know, my creases. I'm smiling a lot, okay? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm so happy. Okay, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use uh, mm -hmm. my NYX uh, Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde, which you've definitely seen. I love it. I'm using my CoverGirl Soft Brown Ultra Fine Brow, brow Pencil, which you've seen, because I freaking love it. You know what I will also say? What? Is that because I'm putting self tanner on my face and I don't avoid my eyebrows when I do it, I think it gets caught in my eyebrows. I was gonna say, it looks like you have brow product on. I don't. I literally think it's self tanner caught in my eyebrows. Cause see how it's kind of orange? Yeah, I thought that you had done your eyebrows a little bit. No. I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure it's here. Here. I'm pretty sure it's tan drops stuck in my. <laughs> Okay, nice and quick. Okay, so next, everyone's favorite part. Caitlin doing bronzer. <laughs> I have three cream block bronzers to select from. Do you wanna get nuts? No. Oh, I'm so impressed. So I'm going with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate, which I have had for a long time. This is probably one of those products I should throw away because I've had it for years. I have hit pan. Oh. Yeah, you have. I'm scraping at the edges. Good for you. I am using a cream product. I really like to use cream products during the summer. It might seem, seem counterintuitive because it's hot and you think it's just gonna slide off your face, but I think it looks good. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color. This is their bronzer in the shade Bondi Bay. Be careful putting on makeup with hoop earrings so you rip it right out. Ouch. Okay, so I just do a little bit like that for now. Ooh. And then I'm gonna take this expert face brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna buff it in. It's much orangier than I thought. Mm -hmm. So how much is a nude stick? Mm, 28, 30, I forget. Wow. So that's $100. Don't say that. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, crazy lady. Oops, okay, gotta just do it. I gotta take them out. Um, so I will say my, this milk chocolate bronzer, 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 which is pretty much what it is. It's bronzer is the lightest bronzer I own. Um, I actually don't use it that much because it is such a, a light tan, but I think because I'm not doing heavy makeup, I just want to look slightly bronzed. I mean, I'm a blonde bronzer addict, so I can't go no bronzer. Right. And in real life, when we're doing this at home, it's taking seven minutes. Yeah, I agree. Like this is way slower than I would normally do it. So the next thing I'm gonna do uh, the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. It's just like a really light pink. And I do like an, the cream blush because I feel like it just, it looks really fresh faced. Mm -hmm. And it blends. It's youthful. Yeah, and it blends into your skin in a way that a powder blush never will. And so it just looks like, oh, I always just have this like natural flush. Okay, so that's my bronzer done. I don't feel like I look bronze, but I feel like I've got like some, 
color and life back in my face. The blush I'm using is Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom All Over Dewy Color in the shade Cherry Blossom Babe. Wrong side. Cherry Blossom Babe. And it's just this beautiful cool tone pink. I put this on with my fingers. I just swirl it around here. You put that shit on everything. I put that shit on everything. I do this and then I go. You gotta make the noise. So for me, I do like less everything else, more blush. I freaking love blush. Like Kaylin loves bronzer, I love blush. I love blush. <gasps> you know how many times my grandmother is like, you need to tone down the blush, honey. I'm like, I don't care, I don't care. I will say, I, I feel like flushed and young. Blush is the first thing to go on my face. Mm -hmm. Like throughout the day to wear off, it's blush. Now I don't think I look crazy, but probably I do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell, I don't have my glasses on. Good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a glowy product, but I didn't bring one, so I'm gonna use something else. Okay, so I have two options for that. I think what I'm gonna do is two layers. I've got, again, Nude Sticks, Nudies, all over face color in Hey Honey, which is a glowy. I think I'm gonna do that one. That's the one I'm gonna do too. Again, I just put it on my fingers. And for this, I'm gonna put on these two because I don't, I don't wanna um, compromise, you know, the amount. I'm doing. I want to see it on you before I put it on. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's darker than I anticipated, but we're gonna go for it. The camera wants to overheat. I swear don't to God, I'll fucking do it. kill it. And I don't have a mirror, so I'm just gonna go where I think it belongs, and then... Yeah, top of your cheekbone. You know. Wow, oh, I don't realize how many sound effects I make when I do my makeup. And I kind of go up by my temples, a little bit above my eyebrow, where... Naturally, I would be shining. We have a very special surprise for you because it was a surprise for us. Oh, don't look at my address. We've been waiting for these packages from Octoly. We're just ripping right in. Oh, yeah. Is today? We are. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh my God, it's huge. This is massive. Caitlin and I have real wanted product. this forever. It's forever. This is the Kevin Aquan The Sculpting Powder. Like, it's so good, it has the in front of it. Uh, and we got the shade Light. I hope that's the right one. I do too. Oh my God, look at this cute little pouch. <gasps> look at it. Oh my God, if I end up having to buy it, I'm gonna be really upset. But so yeah. it is specifically made for contour. Yeah, it's that real. And when you gray base Google, When you Google um, contour colors for fair skin, you get, I mean, you definitely get Too Faced, but for me, this is a bronzer. It is not oh, a contour color. That's a contour. Yeah, it looks warmer in the pan. It's it's very cool toned, which is what you want to create that natural shadow. Natural shadow. Yeah, I think this is gonna be really nice. It's very soft. I will say it's very, dr it's drier than it I thought. It is drier. It's definitely it's powdery. powder powder. Yeah. Um, so so we're not gonna give you our full review, but yay, it's here! Oh my god! We're gonna use it in a video for sure. I'm very excited. I want to build a whole video around it. <sighs> the other thing I got, um, this is huge. This is actually so it's 5.5 fluid, fluid ounces. It is called Red Carpet Color with a K. Body glow in the shade Bronze. So this was not the color that I would have picked. Oh, because the color that I would have picked was sold out. So I went for the dark one. Okay, so I just, I don't know if you can tell. Let me do a little bit more. So I just oh, yeah. put it on this arm. You can tell. And I don't have it on this arm. And it definitely, so I won't say it's, it's not as glowy as I thought yet, but it does give me more of a tan color. But it definitely, which I, wasn't which I like, and I think compared to um, another product I use, which is discontinued, so I'm not even gonna mention it, that one like stays kind of wet. Mm -hmm. This is dry. So when I wear it on my legs, it like sometimes, especially if I get hot, will almost kind of like start to melt and I constantly just have to like rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. This one I think, like actually, you like Barbara from like Real Housewives. Feel my arm. I know, I put it on mine. Yeah. So we received this product complimentary from Ofra Cosmetics. Um, it was in tandem with Octoly. <gasps> it's so blurring. Yes. But it looks really natural. Okay, I will say this. If you have that strawberry skin after you shave your legs, which a lot of people do, like just the follicles are a little bit redder than mm -hmm. your skin, this took it away. Yeah. 
completely. I'm really excited about this. So we're gonna do. I'm no gonna take a photo and we'll insert. It. We're gonna do no makeup makeup on our faces, but we're gonna do full body makeup apparently. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. So um, again, this is red carpet color body glow in the shade bronze. It is our darkest shade, and we are fair. We're both fair, yeah. and I would say that we could absolutely use the darkest color. Yeah. Oh, I really like so it. So I wouldn't hesitate at all. If you're yes. deciding, I would go dark color. And then the last product that we got was in tandem with the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, and this came together, which I thought was funny, Same. but I'm very excited because I've always wanted to try it because we love to watch UK bloggers, and this is the Eve Lum Cleanser. Oh, it's a cleanser cream. So this is Look quite a packaging. This is quite a pricey little number, though. Only 1.6 ounces. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, I like the smell. It smells kind of like Christmas. It's very herbal. So it oh. says cleansing is the <gasps> most important part of skincare. The Eve Lam cleanser contains a unique blend of four aromatic oils with cleansing, decongesting, and soothing properties. The woven muslin cloth is used with the cleanser to improve circulation, open pores, cleanse, exfoliate, and tone the skin in minutes. So thank you, Kevin Aquan. Thank you. I mean, we're going to say thanks to you to Eve Lam because yeah, this was like a su super great bonus. So if you like us, like to watch uh, UK bloggers and bloggers. This was always in all of their videos and it was a cult, cult beauty favorite. Um, so I'm excited to try that later. Yay! Okay, now we just have to do mascara and be done with this. Sorry, this, well, this ended up, I was like, I don't know if we're gonna have enough content to really film a whole video about this, but I think we do. I think we're, we do I left off on, I just, so we had just highlighted. Oh yeah. I am going to spritz my face to just like set everything in. Same. She's using the coconut from MAC like she did in the beginning. Yep. I'm using Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You know I haven't allowed myself to buy another bottle. Why? Okay, so I'm on to mascara. I normally, mascara. I don't even wear mascara to work most days of the week, but I'm gonna put a little bit on because I know we're gonna be on camera all day. You know, just make my eyes look a little bit more awake. I'm using Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. It's a favorite, I freaking love it. This was a sample that was sent for free. Uh, I will say, I wear mascara because I feel like if I do my eyebrows and I don't do mascara, it looks weird. That's it. That's that's the reasoning. That's the tea. I think because I have blonde eyelashes that it just looks so super strange. It looks like I have trichotillomania and I've like pulled them all out. Um, I am using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, which was a recommendation from this person, this uh, famous beauty blogger named Daniel Jeff. Danielle. My name is Name Danielle. Um, and I'm using that as my base layer. I am using two mascaras because oh. I'm a crazy person. You would on no makeup makeup you do two crazy layers? I don't know. I'm not, you know. Okay, and the second one I'm doing the Marc Jacobs. I think it's got Noir, Velvet Noir, Noir do you mascara. Like I do, but I was disappointed that I didn't like it enough to just use it on its own. Right. This was a rec this was recommended by Alana Alana Davidson or Davidson. Davidson. Yeah, what are you going to do on your lips? I'm going to use which you might remember sugar, from sugar. our Summer Essentials video, Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in the shade Coral. This has SPF, so I'm covered everywhere. Uh, so I'm actually gonna use, I don't know what happened to this, it's a little raggedy, but it is the Bite Beauty, uh, their lip crayon in the shade Corvina, high pigment lipstick, but it's a very pigmented shade and I really don't wanna do like no makeup makeup and then like a bold lip today. So I'm just gonna sort of dab it on And then uh, smoosh it around. And then I will probably put a chapstick over top. And these are our finished look. That's it. I tweak it up. Yeah. yeah, go for it. I mean, really, I feel like you can only tell that I'm wearing makeup because I got eyebrows on. Maybe that's true. Meeps, meeps. Okay, get up in there. Show yeah. everybody. Oh. Show everybody your face. Oh. Oh yeah, you can see the glow. You know, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I need, I just want my eyebrows to be like a little bit. And I don't feel like there's any part of me that's like, oh, I wish I had more coverage or I wish I had more of this or that. Like I feel very happy and confident in my makeup today. Let us know what your no makeup makeup routine looks like. Do you wear more than this? Do you wear less than this? Are you just not wearing makeup? Which we both do very frequently. I don't do them frequently. No. Oh. 
I pretty much have a boring makeup every day. Oh, like I obviously don't, don't put it on if I'm around my house, just around my house, yeah. but I'm never just around my house. Oh, right. That's the problem. I leave my house every goddamn day. Yeah. Um, which, <laughs> complaints. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Uh, yeah, so let us know what you're putting on your face. Let us know what you're drinking this summer. If you have recommendations for for extra products for us to glow and hoe, that is what we are doing. Sure is. It's hot girl summer, which we just had to Google and figure out what it was because we didn't know. Nope. <laughs> uh, as You're always, cool. watch, our last, watch our last video. Watch, watch our this. next video. Watch, watch all, all the, the videos. videos. That's the only way that you'll understand this because we film this in a very specific order. And <sighs> otherwise, you won't understand. <laughs> There are subliminal messages in each of these videos, and it will only make sense if you go we have, start to finish. We have planned five years in advance. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video. Comment below. We love to talk with you in the comments. Share it if you would like. You know, as we always say, how else are people supposed to find us? How? It's up to you. But you, how? You have to do the hard work. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's free. Honestly. Like, what do you have to lose? Yeah, and but look uh, how much you've gained. Hit that little uh, ding dongy bell down there so that you get an email to your inbox every time we post a new video. Or a notification on your phone. Ooh, uh huh. I get that. I ring bell notification to our own videos. Absolutely. Duh. <laughs> Thanks again, and we will see you in our next one. Bye. 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 <gasps> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>